Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you the No Trade Rebuild Challenge in NBA 2K19. That's right, guys. I'm going to be bringing you a Rebuild Challenge today. We will essentially not be able to trade any players. We're going to have to stick with the players that we have right now. I'm going to be using the up-to-date 2020 rosters. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to select a, a random team. So I am going to stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. And we are going to be using the New York Knicks. All right, this should be fun. New York Knicks are definitely one of the best rebuild teams out there. And to be completely honest here, this is uh, very, very interesting. They have a very interesting roster right now. They, you know, signed Julius Randle. They got Bobby Portis. They got some pickups in free agency that were pretty good. I'm going to load in the 2020 draft class to kind of make this official. So there we go. The 2020 draft class is going to be loaded in. So if we take a look at our roster, we got Dennis Smith at the 1, RJ Barrett at the 2, Kevin Knox at the 3, Julius at the 4. At the 5, we are currently running Bobby Portis. And then currently looking at our coach game plan, we have the starters here. Then also on the bench, we are running Marcus Morris, Alfred Payton, Taj Gibson, Wayne Ellington, and Alonzo Trier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send Mitchell Robinson down to the G League. And uh, yeah, pretty much we're going to do that. And that's all we can do. Quickly though, I do want to look at the system proficiency, see if we get any better grades. And we really don't, so we're going to have to stay on the grit and grind proficiency. Excuse me, proficiency. Then we're also going to take a look at where the different websites rank us in the power rankings, if I can find it. Let's see, power rankings, here we go. So, we are projected by NBA.com, we are projected as the worst team in the NBA, number 30. NBA 2K, or excuse me, 2K Sports project us at number 24. Then Mark Spears projects us at number 30. Okay, so... We might be one of the worst teams in the NBA, but I think, you know, the Knicks could really shock a lot of people because they actually have a really young and well-balanced roster. So, guys, I will see you at the end of the season. Yes, we end up finishing the season 36-46, and 46, around what I expected for this team. So, LeBron's the MVP. Rookie of the Year goes to Zion, averaging 23-11-5. Then we also got Sixth Man of the Year, Dennis Schroeder. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Giannis. Most Improved goes to Jamal Murray, averaging 24-6. Coach of the year goes to Kenny Atkinson as the Nets go 65 and 17. All NBA first team. I really don't expect anybody on the All NBA teams. Nobody here, and yep, nobody. All defensive first team. Um, yep, nobody. And then all rookie first team. We, yep, we get RJ Barrett this year. So Barrett ended up averaging for the year 11 points, four assists, and or excuse me, four rebounds and four assists. So I mean, not too bad. We're going to sim. Oh, actually, no. How? Oh my God! All right. So somehow we're the eight seed. I don't know how. Look at the Eastern Conference. Look at how bad the Eastern Conference is. Dude, we were ten games under 500 and we still made the playoffs. We're gonna get swept here though. See, Brooklyn takes game one, game two. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Game three goes to Brooklyn. Game four. Like literally, why? Why in the world would that even happen, bro? I have literally no idea why. I just, bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. So, yeah, that was a waste of a playoff appearance. So, Brooklyn's going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals up against Toronto. Denver and Golden State are going to face off in the Western Conference Finals. And Denver is going to sweep Golden State. Brooklyn's going to win in five. And it looks like the Nets are going to win the NBA championship for 2019-2020 with Durant as the MVP, averaging 24-10-6 in the in the NBA Finals. I mean, just insane, bro. Insane. So, or actually, no. What? Did I not do league meetings? Oh, man. All right. So, I actually got to turn that off. Give me a minute, guys. Yeah, so, guys, I actually didn't even load my rebuild settings. So, that sucks. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to move swiftly on to the lottery. We're not even going to be close because, quite frankly, we still made the playoffs. And we are going to get the... Do we, do we even have our first round pick this year? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I don't see our name there. Let's go to the view pick section. And it's going to be right here. All right. So, we have pick number 15. Wow. Okay. And we also have two second round picks as well. So, pretty interesting staff signing. We're going to move on here. I'm going to do a lot of clearing out. So, we're going to fire our assistant GM. We're going to fire David Fisdale, even though I, even though in real life he's got some promise still now. 
Caleb, or excuse me, yeah, Caleb Canales, we're going to fire. Head Scout, we're going to fire. And then Trainer, we're going to fire as well. So pretty much we cleared everybody out except for our CFO, which I, yeah, you can't give him an extension. So we're going to go to Assistant GM, and we're going to pick up, we're going to try to pick up Michael Williams. And, uh, wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Michael Williams. Next one, we're going to go with Jacob Underwood, ob the obvious choice right here. So there we go. Assistant Coach, we're going to go with Trent Peterson. The head scout, we're going to go with James Graham. And then we're going to look for a trainer with A. Yep, there we go. A minus on Randy Martin. Love to see it. So we got our head scout and our trainer. We got our head coach and assistant coach. But the assistant GM did not want to come to us. So I guess we'll go with Eli Best. He is the second best option. There we go. Now we're going to move swiftly on to the NBA draft. This should be very, very interesting. We have the 15th overall pick. So we're just going to send to our user pick. And we'll see what we got. So right now... Team needs, I guess we don't need a point guard. Shooting guard, it would be good because, yeah, we have Barrett. But then again, we have Ali. Oh, man, I don't know. I guess maybe small forward would be a position where we got to capitalize a little bit. Power forward, we definitely don't need. Center, we don't need. So, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, oh, wow. Isaiah Stewart. This guy was projected number four in the draft. This would be an absolute steal. Then again, though, a small forward is right there. We're going to take this guy, Jaden McDaniels, out of, I don't know what he's out of, out of Duke. We're going to take him 6'10", 195 as a small forward. And we're just going to send him to the end of the draft. Second round picks don't really matter. So with the number one pick, the Bulls take Edwards. Number two, the Magic is Hampton. Then goes Wiseman, Robinson Earl, and the Mellow Ball. And we end up getting ourselves a 75 overall Jaden McDaniels. Not bad for a mid-round pick like that. So rookie signings, we're going to sign McDaniels, and that's it, because honestly, the low 70s don't really matter. Then in terms of our team player options, this is going to be very, very interesting. Honest, obviously, we're going, to accept, we're going to accept Dennis Smith Jr. and also Kevin Knox, but I think, oh yeah, and Robinson, Andy Lukina. I think I'm going to, let's check this guy's potential. I want to quickly see what he's at at this point. He's got a B-minus potential, so we can let him go. I think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to accept the team option on Reggie Bullock. I'm going to let Ellington and Gibson walk. And then also I'm going to accept on Portis. So that is basically what it is. And then in terms of qualifying offers, we're going to extend it to Damian Dotson. So now we're going to take a look at our roster after the options and all that. So we still have all three of our point guards. We only now have two shooting guards. We have two small forwards. We let one of them go. We only have one power forward, so a backup will be definitely something very very interesting and then also we have two centers so really all we need is just a backup power forward we're gonna try to lock up let's go with what did kid gilchrist average last year average seven points you know seven rebounds he doesn't put up bad production we're gonna give him a two-year deal and then in terms of the small forward position i guess why not let's go with brandon ingram why not so we're gonna check and yep we did not get brandon ingram they matched the offer so there we go. Well, oh, actually, no, we signed a new contract. It wasn't even a match. So that's pretty cool. In terms of other small forwards, I mean, I could go after Karis LeVert. He isn't really a system match, but still, maybe I can get him. And, yep, they match the offer. Yeah, that's, yep, I kind of knew that was coming. So, that's definitely something. And then, also, Eric Gordon is still available. Last year, we did put up 18, 3, and 4. So, I'm going to try and sign him. He's an unrestricted free agent. I'd say three-year, um... Did I offer him a contract? No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to offer him a two-year deal worth $31 million because I feel that he'll definitely regress once he gets to that third year. So Eric Gordon is going to agree. There we go. We ended up getting some really good players. So we ended up bringing on Eric Gordon. He'll be an upgrade over RJ Barrett. Then we also brought in the backup power forward and Michael Gilchrist. Now I want to look... I mean, RJ Barrett, I definitely want him to be the backup, although I could move him down to the G League. So, I don't know, man. It's very, very interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much all the signings we're going to do. And let's go to training camps now. So, at the one, we're going to have Alfred Payton. Really nice piece. Two is going to be RJ Barrett. Three is going to be Kevin Knox. Four is Julius Randle. Five is Mitchell Robinson. On the bench, we have Dennis Smith Jr. as our sixth man, which is a very interesting choice. And I'm actually going to go ahead. Dennis Smith is going to swap minutes. So he's actually going to play the minutes. And you know what we're going to do? We're also going to have Eric Gordon. He's going to play the shooting goal. Oh, actually, no. Why does Eric Gordon go down in overall? I don't know. Oh, actually, no. Oh, he might have regressed. He might have regressed. That's probably why. So 
And then we have the one is going to be Dennis Smith, two is Barrett, three Knox, four Randall, five is Mitchell Robinson on the bench. It's going to be Peyton, Gordon, Portis. We got Mike, Michael K. Gilchrist. And then we're also going to send Neil Aquino and also Jaden McDaniels down to the G League so they can develop. So we're going to do that with them right now. So there you go, down to the Westchester Knicks. And we actually ended up sign, signing Kyle Korver, which is a very interesting one. And in we actually cannot send him down to the G League. So very, very interesting. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the system proficiency. And the top one is currently four and a half stars or three and a half stars, excuse me on the seven seconds offense or the second seven seconds thing and then we're going to look at our power rankings so mea.com has us at number 19 so we jumped up 11 spots 2k sports has us at number 14 and then mark spears has us at number 20 so we did make a lot of strides from last year plus 10 jump with spears plus 11 for mea.com and i think with 2k sports we jumped up i think 15 spots so guys let's go ahead and i'll see you guys in the end of the season okay guys so we finished the year a little bit of a better improvement we finished 38 and 44 so the mvp of the league was Nikola jokic averaging 24 12 and 9 Rookie of the year goes to james wiseman averaging 20 and 10 six man of the year goes to dennis schroeder for the second time in a row Defensive player of the year is going to be Giannis. Most improved is Colin Sexton, averaging 21, 2, and 4. Coach of the year is Rick Carlisle, surprisingly, as the Hawks go 60 and 22. Moving on, the All NBA first team. I mean, I don't expect our All NBA teams to have anybody, and it doesn't. All defensive first team, and we have nobody. Then the All Ricky first team, are we going to have anybody? And nope, we did not have anybody. So we're going to take a look. And we actually made the playoffs. We're a seven seed once again. We're facing Boston in this round. Let's quickly go ahead though. Let's look at our stats from this season. So we're going to go season stats. Not league leaders. I want to go player stats. So here we go. So Julius Randle averaging, averaging 20. Oh, uh, what is that? 20? Wow, 20, 11, and 4. Very, very nice. Dennis Smith Jr. averaging 18 points a game. We got Kevin Knox averaging 13. Alfred with 12. Eric Gordon with 12. We got RJ Barron at 11. And Bobby Portis averaging 10 points a game. So, let's go ahead. Let's just sim the playoffs, dude. We're going to get swept. I'm calling it right now. We're going to get swept. It's... Dude, it's... Oh, wow. We actually do not get swept. And we've somehow made it a series at 2 2 3. No way. Oh my god, dude, what? How is that even possible? We just beat the two seed, but we're going to lose to the six seed. And yeah, we got swept by the six seed. Wow, okay. So now it's going to be Philadelphia versus Atlanta coming back to the 3-1 down in the Eastern Conference Finals. Golden State and the Lakers on the other side of the bracket. Let's see, Atlanta up 3-1 on Philadelphia, 4-1, and it's Atlanta versus the Warriors. And Atlanta is going to win in five. Very, very cool. DeMarcus Cousins gets the MVP, surprisingly. 20 points per game, seven rebounds, two assists in the finals. That's very, very interesting. So now we're going to move on to the draft lottery. I don't expect anything out of this. And we do have the number 15 pick for the second straight year. Kind of expected that. So now we need to do CFL. We're just going to sign Jordan Malone again. And well, and then welcome back to the team, Jordan Malone. So here we go. We have the number 15 overall pick. Maybe we can improve in some area here. We got a user pick, and we're gonna take a look. There is a Jaden Springer available, 77 overall, 18 years old. But then again, I believe he is a shooting guard, and we already have enough shooting guards as it is. Point guard we might need. Shooting guard we have great depth there. Small forward, power forward, center. So I'd say probably. Power forward is our best bet, so there is power forward available. There is Sharif O'Neal. We're going to take him 6'10 out of UCLA, 220, and we're going to send to the end of the draft. So the number one pick was going to be Jalen Green. Number two was Cunningham. Three was Evan Mobley. Four was Zaire Wade, and then five was Isaiah Todd. And then our pick, we got a 73 overall Sharif O'Neal. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And also, we picked a 69 overall in the second round, so team options we're gonna accept randall we're gonna accept mitchell robinson we're gonna accept knox and barrett so we get a clean sweep right here we're going to accept it and then finally we're gonna move on to the qualifying offers we're gonna extend it to both smith jr and neil Aquino. so those two guys are hitting the free agent market so in terms of this we already are gonna get our two point guards which is awesome 
I think we're going to need a shooting guard because I don't know if Eric Gordon can really hold the load for much longer. Moving on, we have our small forward, got our power forward, got our center. So really all we need is a shooting guard and a point guard. So we're going to actually try and sign Malik Monk. We're going to sign, try to sign him to a four-year deal. We're going to try and get him to that. And he is going to agree. And yep, they matched the offer. Okay, great. Great, great, great. All righty. And I think we're going to get Trier, though I would like to get Blakeney. What did he put up last year? 10 points, uh, excuse me, 3 rebounds and 1 assist. Dude, I keep messing it up because I think that assists are before rebounds. That's just what I'm seeing. And then PJ Dozier averaged 1 point a game. Yeah, no. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to sign Blakeney to a 4-year deal. We're going to see if we can get him. And Blakeney is going to agree to his contract. And I don't believe... That oh Dennis Smith Jr. wouldn't oh no okay well I'm screwed essentially because look at that man um I basically just lost out on yeah I lost out on Dennis Smith Jr. because I had to renounce the rights look at that 2K so now we gotta sign a point guard I would love to try and sign Donovan Mitchell but we just simply do not have the money same thing with Dennis Smith Jr. so we are going to lose them. Man, that is a rough loss, but I guess we're going to go ahead. Let's go. Let's sign Moutier to a three-year deal, and then let's also sign Frank Mason to a three-year deal. Let's get him, get them both on the team. So Frank Mason's going to sign, and I think that's it. Yep, Moutier is going to sign as well. So that's looking good. So now our point guard, we got, you know, we got Alfred Payton, Moutier, and Frank Mason. Shooting guard, we got Gordon, Barrett, and McKenney. Small forward is going to be Kevin Knox and McDaniels. Power forward is Randall, Mike, Michael Gilchrist, and Sharif O'Neal. And then the center is going to be Mitchell Robinson and Bobby Portis. So, guys, let's go ahead. Let's send straight to training camps. So, here we go. Starting at the 1, it's going to be Moutier. 2, it's going to be Barrett. 3 is Knox. 4, Randall. 5 is Robinson. On the bench, we also have Portis, McDaniels, Bikeni, Michael Kid Gilchrist. And then we also have Moutier, Eric Gordon. Frank Mason, Tory Craig, and also Sharif O'Neal, who we are going to in fact send down to the G League for him to develop our most recent draft pick. Then moving on to system proficiency, I believe we're going to stay at four and a half stars, and we will at the seven seconds one. And then we're going to look at the power rankings. So NBA.com has us at number 20. 2K Sports has us at number 12. That's not bad. And Mark Spears has us at number 20 as well. So guys. Let's go ahead. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys. So we ended up finishing this season on a really positive note, 45 and 37. MVP is going to go to Jokic once again. Rookie of the year is going to go to Evan Mobley of the Chicago Bulls. Six man of the year is Gordon Hayward. Defensive player of the year is Giannis. Most improved is going to be Kevin Knox, averaging 16, 4, and 2. And then also coach of the year is going to be, surprisingly, Tyron Lue as the Magic at 53 wins. So anyway, all NBA first team... All NBA second team, all NBA third team. Yeah, we basically have nobody. Moving on, all defensive teams, nobody. And then the all rookie teams, I don't expect to have anybody. Yeah, no, I don't expect to have anybody. Now we're going to look at the season stats. I didn't actually even look at where we were seated. But anyway, looking on to the player stats. So Julius Randle had a little bit of a down year, averaging 17 points. We also got Kevin Knox, the most improved player, averaging 16. Jaden McDaniels surprisingly averaged 16 points. Bobby Portis averaging 14, Payton averaging 13 and a half. We got Barrett averaging 11, Blakeney averaging 11. And then also, you know, at the bottom of the list, we got Sharif O'Neal, who didn't do anything because he was in the G League all year. So guys, we are the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, taking on the Detroit Pistons. So we're just going to simulate the playoffs. Let's see, we're going to take game one. They take game two. We take game three. We take game four. Come on, finish them in five. Yes, we do. Finish him in five. We're facing Chicago in the next round as the Magic were upset in round one. So we win game one, win game two, win game three. Can we go for the sweep? No. Gentlemen sweep? No. Oh, God. Yes. Facing Boston, the Eastern Conference Finals. 2-0 Boston, 3-0 Boston, 3-1. Oh, okay, 4-1 Boston. And they take us out in the Eastern Conference Finals. Celtics Warriors in the Finals. And the Celtics are going to, or excuse me, the Warriors are going to win in five games. So there we go. Curry is the finals MVP. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at our playoff stats as well. We're just going to see. So currently right now, the playoff stats stands as this. Jaden McDaniels 
stepped up in the playoffs, 20 points per game. Randall at 20 as well, Knox at 16, Porter's at 14, and Barrett at 11.3. Anyway, guys, though, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like, trash match, five likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.